AC Milan and Inter Milan have renewed licenses with EA Sports and now they are exclusive premium partners. All players should have brand new face scans, also the stadium kits. Everything is exclusive to FIFA only. AS Roma though has been taken by Pez just like with Juventus. So Piemonte Calcio now is also going to be coming to AS Roma. We're going to be taking a look at that in this video and also possibly some new icons. Wesley Snipe and Macon also has Eto of course been hinted at again so just before we get into it if you are new here make sure you guys do subscribe for all FIFA 21 future news and updates we're going to be talking about all of the news straight away as soon as it is released analyzing it and explaining it so definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos so we're getting straight into this one now like we have already mentioned AC Milan and Inter Milan do have now new licenses so it's most likely going to be new face scans that's pretty much it we already have the stadium kit already in FIFA but of course at that war FIFA and Pez AS Roma now has been taken by Pro Evolution Soccer and it is going to be happening just like with Juventus we did get Piemonte Calcio all of the chemistry links in Ultimate Team are still going to work the exact same way just like they were for Roma but we are going to be getting a new club badge and a new kit that is going to be replacing it and also now just the generic stadium no longer going to be having the AS Roma stadium anymore so of course it is quite annoying news but there's nothing really we can do about it Pez are trying to of course make a name by themselves with the licenses also with the Barcelona stadium just little things like that but there's nothing we can do at it at all EA are still going to be focusing on of course hopefully the gameplay stuff like that beyond the licenses so taking a look now today we did all also get AC Milan and Inter Milan did each have sort of a one minute promo just like a celebratory video that they have been of course licensed now partnered with EA Sports again and Wesley Snyder can be seen in here also make on so some people are saying that they are going to be getting new icons this is a hint towards that in my opinion it's very likely it can be a coincidence it's just of course showing the legends of the club and they are definitely that so I don't really think that it is a direct direct inclination into icons but I do think of course they would be absolutely amazing and I do hope they are going to be included one of the new 11 ones but I do think it is fairly unlikely but definitely let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about that also new long shorts as we can see here on Ibrahimovic does look like sort of basketball NBA sort of stuff this does look very interesting I think it is going to be added just as a longer variation of the normal shorts that we do see every single year and this is going to be in pro clubs also in career mode I guess pro player and maybe even in ultimate team players like Ibrahimovic it is going to be a personal trait that they do have these longer shorts just the aesthetic trait but why not of course I guess from the EA developers but we do have some new information from inside of there VP has spoken today from EA that career mode is very important for them this year they've made the biggest investment we've ever made to make sure we're delivering exactly what our players are asking for for. we've listened to what they want to be able to do things they haven't been able to do in the past so for example like the new simulation that looks insane that's the first confirmed feature in career mode and we'll find out exactly what they're talking about because career mode news is going to be after gameplay which is this Tuesday so Tuesday after this or next week at least we are going to be finding all about career mode so I'm definitely looking forward to that back to ultimate team the shush and the other celebrations have been removed EA developers have been saying what really matters is that we've reduced the times that you have to celebrate so that's really going to be good we are focusing on making sure the flow of the game is much quicker this year so that's really good news it's going to be less toxic as well EA don't want to directly say that but it's definitely going to be of course removing that toxicity at least a little bit and sometimes they could honestly take a really long time when they went all the way to the halfway line really annoying nothing you can do about it so it's really going to be good this year not to see that anymore but of course the crying Mbappe celebration could just become another version of this so we're hopefully not going to see anything like that again the shush celebration hopefully is gone for now but it is definitely going to be replaced with something similar let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the icons again Wesley Snyder Macon also Eto coming up again but apparently he has been confirmed by a few leakers but nothing is confirmed until EA do show the cards and confirm of course on their website on 
social media that is definitely going to be coming but i'm interested to know your thoughts on that thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time